Hello, Klyseer, Phantom Brave PC. In the last part, uh, we did some filler levels. <laughs> In this part, we'll probably finish the episode. It's probably a four battle episode anyway. So what's going on at the top of the mountain? There are monsters. Oh, that's a lot of plot. And there's bread! Whoa. 50% defense bread. Or rather, plus 50%. Alright, what have we got? We've got a biggish map. Oh boy. Okay, what are you getting the third one from? <laughs> oh boy. What a network. So each enemy basically has two escorts that power it up. Plus, the major ones also are sending power. Let's see. These are mages. Oh yeah, but defense boost also refers to resistance when it's on a protection. I think. Maybe not. I feel like when it says attack, it does. I'm considering just sending Norm this way. And then, like, Ash this way. And then... Tark and Hina deal with these or something. Alright, well... Let's get started with that plan. Wow! Even with that defense boost from the confine. Whoa, it's fast! Okay, but, uh, it didn't get another turn. Or, I mean, it didn't spend its other turn well. Didn't get to- get, didn't get another attack. Let's say. Yeah, move specifically there. Uh, no? This is awkward. No, don't target the jar. I want to target the little corner of land or something. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'll just... No, it resists... That... I mean, I could do this, but I'm worried about throwing it off the level without killing it, and then everything on the map would level up. So this is the powered up enemy. Maybe I just want to kill something over here. No, but I can't reach anything over there. Unless it is weak to wind. Resist wind. Gale Slash would reach. Whatever, let's just go for it. Norm deals a lot of damage. Oh yeah, he's super dead. See ya. Alright, magic boosts make me a little nervous. There. Let's heal and then move. Alright. Let's go! And we already attacked, so we can't brave hard. But we probably don't need it. This is it! Alright, we, we needed it. Maybe I shouldn't have cast heal on Norm. Ow. Whatever, it seems to be fine. Right, 
you go in this direction. Since they're magic boosted, I was considering going after them instead of finishing off this enemy. Maybe I still should. Yeah, let's do this. Got him. So Ash doesn't really need a Braveheart anymore. Uh, the Corgi will be going before he does. Uh, Marona, you just could find the bottle now. We'll wait. Alright. Oh! That's bad. Jumping off the level like that. Guess the enemies didn't level up too much. That's it! Hopefully holding that rock to- oh uh oh. Should've probably Braveheart, Ash. But at least he killed the rock. Alright. Let's like, cast shield. Like I should've done last turn. Alright. And... Guess it's not too late to cast Braveheart. Uh oh. Oh, we're fine. Alright, so we got some bread. Veteran bread. Angle slash? Yeah. Dealing the damages. Now we want to move in and get more people confined on objects. Like Tark there. Let's do it. And I can't reach that. Oh, but I can cancel throwing it. This guy's seriously magic boosted. <coughs> Can I catch it with the end of lightning bomb? No, not even close. I expected to get a cannot go here at some point because I was running up against the end of the radius and I don't think you can walk through lava. All right. I guess Norman and Ash are kind of stealing targets. Whatever, making sure we win. Uh oh. That's bad. <laughs> he ended up over there. It's weird out of bounds handling. Can find the fusionist somewhere. Let's go. Let's do it. Monk, sure. Alright, can you reach? Oh yeah, you have Gale Slash, don't you? The uh, real question is, can it reach? Oh, it's dead. Never mind. <laughs> no 
Oh no, they're still coming. Please, let's stop fighting. Nobody wants to disturb you. I'll even ask Mr. Cauldron not to bother you. So please stop fighting. I don't want your injuries to get any worse. Be careful, Morona. Ugh. Morona. It's okay, Ash. What up? Morona calmed the injured monster. She found it easy to relate. She could understand the monster's desire to live their lives in peace. I'm sorry. You were scared too, weren't you? Okay. <laughs> Moronikins! I knew I could count on you to get the job done. Yeah, you Here's could. Here's your reward. Twenty K. Oh, I can't take this. It's way too much. Bah! No worries. I'm really starting. Besides, we're both island collectors. That's chump change, and you know it. <laughs> but... Take it, Morona. You've won Cauldron's favor. There you go. Phantom Boy understands. Thank you very much. to ask you something, Mr. Cauldron. Huh? What's that? Morona spoke on behalf of the monsters living in Mount Kazan. She pleaded from the bottom of her heart that Cauldron do something. Anything that would allow them to continue their lives uninterrupted. You got it! I'll declare this island a monster sanctuary. Really? You you mean it? I'm true to my word. Thanks, Papa Cauldron. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> Did you call me Papa? Yep, Papa Cauldron. <laughs> That's my Moronikins. You're such a good girl. Okay, scene over. <laughs> Where did you hide the necklace, Putty? Please tell me. I promise I won't get mad. Oh, you still can't understand, can you? There must be some way for us to communicate. <gasps> I know! Maybe we can talk using sign language. Let's see, how about... You see? This means acorn. A-corn. Understand? See? It's an acorn. You like acorns, don't you? <laughs> See? It's not so hard. Hmm, I'll need to find my sign language book. <laughs> We're going to be busy. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I'll have my usual. You don't look happy. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. I can't get any work, and nobody will even pay me to be an oxide. 
<laughs> what? You know something I don't? Pissing Cauldron off wasn't exactly a good idea. He's a big player around here. Just lay low until things cool off. You made plenty of money before, so you should be fine for a while. I spent the money. Spent it? All of it? What the heck did you spend it on? None of your business. Damn that Morona. If she didn't interfere. Meanwhile, back at the island. <laughs> What's this barrel doing here? That was a lot of jumping around the worlds and scenes. Or er, world singular. The islands are like worlds. And Putty showed up in a barrel. Is that the same Putty? What's it trying to say? Do you think it's trying to tell us something? What is it? What are you trying to say? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hey! Wait a minute! Maybe something happened on the Putty's Island. You mean Verdant Guardiana? Ash and Morona recalled the Putties who lived in Verdant Guardiana. Bamboo Company's President Hogg planned to build a laboratory on that island. Worried about the Putty's fate, they hurried to Verdant Guardiana. Episode 11, Paradise Saved? Hmm. With, pe with episode 10 done, we're officially halfway through the episodes. Because there are 20. Oh man, money and stuff. So you now need to heal, because ends of episodes give you your health back. And SP. Hmm. Oh yeah, I got that veteran bread. That's not the title list. Defense and HP. Hmm. What is a veteran? Or who? Well, already that iron staff. See this norm sword. Hey, it won't actually get any more attack out of the deal, though. We can probably find something better to put the title on. And this flower? We don't really use Lum anymore. Hmm. Let's see. He's flawless already. He's... Serious, famous. Yeah, I think that's better than serious. Title attached. Uh, anything else to do here? Not really. I guess I could check the mailbox for mail. <laughs> what else would I check it for? Well, newspapers, actually. Oh, lab construction resumes. Yep, confirmed that it's moving forward on Rodent Guardiana. Uh, plans were reevaluated under Hogg's order. Dedication to medical research should be commended. So I guess he figured out there weren't dragons there, or figured they moved on. Alright, Cauldron, the imposing and off feared island collector, has lost it. Devoted a great deal of time and effort to starting a fan club for Moromina. It's unknown if the two have ever met, and why Cauldron would create such an organization, and maybe there are sinister dealings, because Philbert suspects us forever. 
Oh, and Castile sent us a letter. Oh, the cute little creature's doing fine. Named it Mocha. It is an adorable name. You're starting to teach something might be enough to get the necklace back. But it's a secret plan. Gonna keep guessing. K-I-T. Keep in touch, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna try to move on to another stage. So that's it for this part. See ya!